Hey guys, Dan here, and Badger, with Sterling Self-Defense, testing out the SSD Vector VKS, the most powerful VKS the world has ever seen. All right, now, I was doing some work uh, in the shop. I uh, put it in a loft apartment, and I uh, was working in the, uh, on a kitchen, so I put the countertop in and uh, had to cut out the sink, so I have this big piece of hard countertop which uh, it's about one inch thick, super dense, super hard. It's like one of those laminate, you know, made to look like uh, granite countertops, but uh, super hard and I wonder how it would hold up to this. Uh, also want to test out my new SSD 12 gram mag, uh, working on different followers for different rounds. I'm going to try uh, uh, Grimberg, uh, HP 68s, can't get any jewels. Haven't had jewels in seems like years now. So uh, I'm working on a follower that shoots uh, those well in the FSC. So I'll try that afterwards. All right, so get some glasses on and get some shots. Hold on, let me get my glasses. Best part about the vector, just sit down. All right, let's move over. All right, after, I'll take you guys up to it after, show you how thick it is. Ah, uh, get my glasses. Alright, we're all loaded up. And oh, I gotta move Badger out of the way. He's in the bad spot for shooting. Gotta put him behind the safe area. Ricochets can't get to him. Alright, you're okay, Badger. Stay there. Alright, error up. I'm ready to go. All right, you guys see? Okay, here we go, taking shots. On the countertop. Woo, right through it. Right through it. Oh, sorry, 534. I forgot to give you numbers. Sorry. <laughs> 526. 522. 522, 526, it's shattering the rounds, it's shattering everything. 524, 576, there was a 580 in there too. Ooh. Whew. That's all of them. A 576, 580, Ooh, what a monster. All right, let's put this down. Degas. Go take a look. Uh, where's my drill? Hmm. Nope, I gotta find my drill so I can take that off and show you. Hmm. Where is my drill? I put you on pause. I gotta look for my drill. Ah, right, you know what? Doesn't matter. Let me I'll take you up and show you. All right, here we go. Anybody sees the drill, let me know. Sorry about that. I hit the button. But we're back. Show you how thick this is. We got one inch thick. I don't know if you can see inside there, but you can see how thick it is. Oh, see the damage. Whew. Oh, shattered everything. Let me show you what a hammer, how hard this stuff is. Yeah, look at this. It's like a 26 ounce hammer. Full swing with a hammer, not even a dent. Yeah. I'm trying to go through it. Oh, it's a good countertop. Not even a mark. Look at that. Not even marks. That's how strong this stuff is. Look at that. Little mark right there. That's full swings with a 26 ounce hammer. Nothing. Look at that. Obliterated the round in there. Whew. Look at that. Right through. Everyone. No problem. This is tough freaking stuff.
Yeah, I knew that would be good to shoot. That's 100 plus jewels to get through that shit. I wonder if that was stronger than uh, the diamond plate I shot. Might be. Want some big numbers on there. Woo. All right. Get this out of the way. Effect is great. You can just sit it down anywhere with its own stand. All right. Uh, let me grab a CO2 and some rounds. CO2, SSD new mags, 12 gram. Now, got some HP 68s. Eight gram, HP 68s. FSV Ghost, five inch barrel. Now I can't find my drill, so I can't take that, I can't shoot into the trap, but I got something else to here. I got a little test box here filled with tons of fucking wrapped up paper and towels. There we go. So I'll take some shots at this sucker. Just testing the mag. Glasses on here. All right, air her up. All right, all aired up. All right, here we go. Woo, 360. Felt like it hit the floor. 342. 326, feeding well. I should have probably shouldn't have said that. 308. 280. 232. Was that all of them? Yeah, it was all of them. All right, six rounds. Feeding good. All right, yeah, I've been working on mags for a while. Yeah, I don't release shit till it's like crazy tested. I've had mag designs for a couple of years now. I haven't put any out yet, but uh, this one's doing pretty good. Not, they were all HP 68s. So, you know how FSC mags, they fucking HP 68s jam like crazy in those. Not a great design. They were mainly designed for paintball, but uh, it's all in the follower. So, I don't know. This might be the last, last iteration of the follower. We'll see how it comes out. Yeah. Just all about its little curve you gotta have on it so when the ball comes by, it doesn't break it off. You know, other guys out there making uh, followers to put in your mags and you shoot and it just, the ball comes up, breaks, breaks the mag right off. And they don't know how to design them, but. All right, still working on it, but uh, it was a good test. I forget what version this is on this one, but uh, definitely a good test. Fed everyone without a jam. I still gotta do, you know, to fully test it another at least a couple hundred, 300 more mags through there to make sure it's okay. You never know what problems you're going to run into until you properly test and properly get run uh, rounds through it. And you got to do a lot of rounds because you never know what the problems could be until you come upon them. Don't want to make a project, get it out there, and everyone's going, yeah, this thing blew up or uh, it's not jamming every single time after I shot five mags. But here's what it is. Not about the money. It's about making it right, so... I know everyone's gonna bug me now they saw it in the video. That's why I don't talk about these things because now everyone gets up my ass. I want one of those mags, I want one of those mags. I'm like, well, they're out when they're out. When, they, when I'm done with them and, and I'm happy with the way they're uh, working, I'll put them out. So don't get up my ass on them because they're not done yet. They're not ready. They're ready when I say they're ready. All right, guys, that's it for me and Badger and the Vector Monster and my countertop. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.